These are the Edifier S2000 Mark III's, a set of rather fancy bookshelf speakers that feature planar magnetic tweeters, 5.5 inch woofers, and honestly the most premium feel of any speaker I've personally tested, although they do come at a pretty high price tag, at least for bookshelf speakers, at around £450 for the pair. So are they worth it? Well, let's take a look at them and find out. Of course, first, if you haven't already, consider subscribing for more videos like this one every Monday, Wednesday and Friday. Here's the headline stats. Like I said, they use planar magnetic tweeters which uh, draw 15 watts RMS each, and then the 5.5 inch woofers, though those draw around 50 watts RMS for a total of 130 watts across both speakers. These are powered, they plug in via a standard 3-pin UK plug, although I'm sure if you buy them in other markets they'll come with the, the associated plug from there. Uh, the second speaker is driven off of a rather thick, rather high quality cable uh, that di directly connects the two. There isn't anything else on the left speaker, everything is built into the right one. Now there's no at least obvious way to extend this setup in, in any way, including adding a subwoofer, perhaps wirelessly, maybe, but in practice there are no outputs on the back of this except to connect to the second or the left speaker, uh, but you do have a lot of inputs. You have two uh, stereo RCA ins as well as optical, coax and Bluetooth. Now because it supports optical and Bluetooth and as you'll see in a second has a little display, there's actually a fair amount of processing that goes on inside this, which means that you don't necessarily need the, the most high quality DAC and preamp to make these things work. Now because there is a lot more sort of circuitry inside here than a standard, say, studio monitor, you do get an included remote, which specifically has four different, effectively, sound profile modes. You have monitor, dynamic, classic, and vocal. Now, I'll explain more about those later, but suffice to say they change the sound quality a fair amount, or at least the sound profile, uh, and you even have dedicated dials on the back for adjusting treble and bass with up to plus six or minus six on either direction. You do also have a physical dial for volume, although that can also be adjusted on the remote as well, whereas the treble and bass can't. Now that little built-in display that I mentioned is right at the bottom of the right speaker. It's pretty subtle, you generally won't notice it unless you're looking for it, and fits quite nice with the very premium aesthetic they've got going on. The display is relatively low in pixel counts and just black and white, but will tell you things like what volume you're at when you're adjusting it, it will tell you which mode you're in, especially for the, the modes on the remote, and it will tell you which input you are listening to, which is really useful for things like connecting to Bluetooth. Unfortunately, it doesn't seem to tell you things like what song you're listening to if you're using Bluetooth, it just has the Bluetooth logo, but you still can use the media controls, including pause and forward and backwards on the, the, the remote, those still do work. Like I mentioned, the speakers have a very premium look and honestly a pretty premium feel. They are pretty solid wood. I believe it's MDF with a, a sort of ochre real wood veneer over the top, but they are incredibly premium, they're incredibly heavy, which is also pretty remarkable, uh, and they have this uh, removable sort of uh, mesh grill on the front, which is held on just by a couple of pins, it's pressed on, you can pull it off if you prefer, uh, but overall I do really like the aesthetic of these, they're, they're relatively subtle while still being uh, very sort of uh, well, premium look. And as for the listening experience, well, they are remarkably good. Now, they're not perfect, as I'll explain in a second, but the the clarity that you get with these, the, the crispness of the audio is uh, amazing. If this would be your, your first foray into higher-end audio gear, then you will notice uh, instruments and elements in songs that you didn't know were in those tracks, even from listening on something like Spotify. Of course, listening to higher quality, say, flag files will give you a better experience there, but the fact that even from something like a Spotify stream, you can hear those extra details that you didn't know were there is a very good sign. If I had to critique the sound profile, which I suppose is my job here, I would argue that the, the planar magnetic tweeters are almost slightly too good at their job. A lot of the higher frequencies, higher pitches, 
uh, felt a little almost harsh, definitely overpowering for me personally. I set the base on the back to I think plus four, which did give a very nice, very full sound considering these are subless speakers and they did actually give a nice rumble to the desk as well. But I found myself decreasing the treble setting fairly often and especially on lighter music, something like Billie Eilish, uh, I found that the higher pitched tones were just a little harsh, a little overpowering uh, for my, my personal taste. When you start listening to more sort of grunge rock, they actually start to make a lot more sense. The sound profile suits that, that sort of music really well. It's incredibly clear, the, the stereo effect is great and it's a very immersive listening experience. I did, like I said, turn the bass to plus six to get that very full sound, but honestly, I'm really happy with the sound profile for that kind of music. A quick note on the modes on the remotes, I pretty much left it in monitor the entire time. That was the only mode out of the four that offered what sounded a lot more true to life and uh, a good listening experience. Anything from dynamic classical and especially vocal emphasized the, the higher notes far too much for my liking and made for a, well, less than ideal listening experience for me personally. I should make it clear that I'm no audiophile. I'm slowly being convinced of, uh, of the, the, the benefits of having very high quality audio, but uh, I'm not someone who currently anyway, uh, I suppose cares all that much about just how pristine my listening experience is. I'm also not someone who likes to just sit and listen to music. I, I generally am listening to music in the background while doing other things. So these don't really suit me personally. If I had to go and buy some bookshelf speakers, I would be more than happy to buy the £80 edifier ones that I reviewed last year because for me personally, the audio quality is good enough that, especially if I'm listening to it in the background, I wouldn't be noticing much if any quality difference between those and this. Whereas if you're someone who likes to sit down and actively listen to music or want the, the best you know, audio experience possible, of course these are going to be a better option than those cheap ones. I'm also no expert in reviewing audio gear in general, so there very well may be better options both for audio quality and for the price point, or even maybe better quality for lower price, so make sure you shop around and check out some more dedicated reviews uh, before you, you make a purchase. But from my perspective, these are very nice. Like I said, they're not quite for me, and I think the, the value proposition going from those 80 pound speakers to these 450 pound ones, I'm not sure I could personally justify that, but like I said, I'm not really the target market, so I'll leave that one up to you. Of course, as always, I'm gonna be leaving a link to these in the description down below. That'll be an Amazon affiliate link that will take you to a local Amazon store where you can see pricing when and where you watch this, because it can and does vary. Feel free to also check out the review of those original, or the, the cheaper bookshelf speakers. I'll leave that on the end cards when they pop up in a second. And there's also a load of other links in the description down below you can check out from merch or hoodies or t-shirts like this one or a load of the cool designs. There's also a Patreon for access to our Money Men Discord chat and sponsor free videos. And of course, you support me directly too. And there's a load of other links you can check out. So feel free to take a look. Like I said, I'll leave that other uh, bookshelf speaker review on the end cards for you to check out. If you've got any questions, do feel free to leave those in the comments down below and I'll do my best to get back to you. Otherwise, thanks for watching and we'll see you on the next video.